Today, I have also been making hand sanitizer. Hi folks, it's Michelle again. Hope you're all having a good week. So this week for me has been busy getting ready for the trail. I've been having a lot of appointments. I've been going to the doctor, making sure I'm up to date on my immunizations, going to the dentist. Um, don't want to have a toothache out there on the trail. So on that health related theme today, I have also been making hand sanitizer. I'm using 190 proof Everclear that my boyfriend was able to get from the liquor store. He just had to sign a waiver saying that we weren't going to drink it. And then I got aloe vera gel on Amazon. I went with seven minerals. And so the recipe I was um, that I looked up online said to use 70% alcohol to 30% aloe vera gel. Um, but when I went to make it, you know, it was just easier to go with uh, 75, 25. So a quarter cup of aloe vera gel, three quarters cup alcohol, mixed it together really well. And then I poured it into these little containers that I got from lightsmith.com. These are nice because they have, um, you can put them on a carabiner and hang them off your pack. Not sure if I love the two ounce size. I might want to go with a smaller size, like one ounce, um, but I haven't decided. So of course, with eight ounces, I was able to get four of these. I got a lot of little containers from lightsmith.com. I'm gonna be using them for different things like salve, um, maybe some hot sauce, definitely for Dr. Bronner's soap. And speaking of soap, hand sanitizer is not as good as washing your hands with soap and water. And that's what I intend to use the majority of the time. Um, I'll put a couple drops of Dr. Bronner's in a baggie, especially before taking my contacts in and out, before eating, after using the restroom. But there are some times when washing my hands might not be very practical, like in the middle of the night if I have to go to the privy um, after touching the door on it, it might be a good idea to use some hand sanitizer. Um, it's antibacterial, it does not kill viruses, but it does kill E. coli, which is pretty important. Um, but for norovirus, uh, just know that washing your hands with soap and water is a better choice. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.